Siadiv Galair, Agus Valti Rovig and Termana Shaw. Is Michelin Toller Rebecca Braun, Dain, Kalosh and Anon, Naholik to Sosheta, Augustin Lane Kelty. Agus is Kush Ohas Eight of Falta Kurov, Gudi Olskol Nair and Gallif, Agus Kalosh and the Halenia Severin, Erin Law Special to Shaw. Tommy don't shot in you, Con Kelura Publi, a Yenov, Erin Yashka Akadur, a Todian Turkwif, a Gian Verguid Gursi, Lane Lorin to Blinter and Uas. Law more, a veiler in the Holskalia, August and Kalosh to Ta Aun, Agus Okeid Nismo, Agus Nis Talk Tirish, in Varsail Fain. I'm Professor Rebecca Braun, Dean of the College of Arts, Social Sciences and Celtic Studies. And on behalf of National University of Ireland Galway and Burren College of Art, I want to extend to you all a very warm welcome to this virtual conferring ceremony. To you, the graduates, I say that in awarding these degrees today, we are publicly acknowledging and paying tribute to your intelligence, hard work and dedication to the course of studies that has brought you to this point. The honour conferred on you today represents an important milestone in what I hope will be distinguished, fulfilling and rewarding lives and careers. In these special circumstances, we are conducting this ceremony online, but I very much hope that in due course, you and we will be able to share and celebrate your achievement with your families and friends and the academic community generally, all of whom have contributed in a variety of ways to this, your academic success. Graduations are an appropriate celebration of that success. And in this university, we use Latin, Irish and English to mark the occasion. Graduation ceremonies are a tradition that spans many centuries. In Ireland, they go all the way back to the first university established in Dublin in 1320, though it no longer exists. And the tradition has continued through to the present. This university is over 175 years old, being originally one of the three Queen's Colleges established in 1845 in Belfast, Cork and Galway. After today's ceremony, you, the graduates, will take your place in that group. And it is my fervent hope that you will do so with pride. The partnership that enables you to do so as graduates of the Burren College of Art also is a particular source of satisfaction to me as Dean and to the university. Latin was originally the working language of the universities and as a link to the past, we still use the language in the conferring ceremony. In the Latin formula of words used in your parchments, two things are confirmed publicly by the university. The academic quality of your award and the moral character of you as graduates. I hope that as you go through the rest of your lives as Galway graduates, you will remember and strive to uphold both of these characteristics. I would now like to introduce you to the various people present today who are central to this ceremony. On screen are the Secretary of Governance and Academic Affairs at NUI Galway, Ms. Caroline Lochnan, and the Dean of Academics at Bourne College of Art, Conor McGrady. I now hand over to Ms. Lochnan, who will open the formal proceedings in Latin. Universitas Hibernia Nacionales. Prehonorables Deaconess Totaque Universitas, Comitia Universitaria Hodia Convocata Sunt, Ud Quidimomines Maxime Exame, Ad Gradis Academicus, Eta Diplomata Academica Admitantur. Dean and all of the university community, this meeting of the university has been convened for the purpose of admitting graduates to the degrees of Masters and Diplomas. Eos ASK Presentabit, Mr. Connor O'Grady. Mr. Connor McGrady will present the graduates. Presento vobus hace mias filius qua somnis shio tam orbus quam doctrina habiles e idonias esse ca matantor ad grada magisteri in ortibus id quae tibi fide mia testor hace spondeo totec academiae. Ego actoritate mihi concessa Admito vos ad gradu magisteri in artibus. Herminia Ayala Rias.
Joana González Muidas Perestrello de Alarco. Presento vobis, hanke, miam filium, quam shio tam moribus, quam doctrina habilum, e idonium, esse ke admetator, ad gradum magisteri, in artibus elegantibus. Id que tibe fide, mia testor ace spondeo, totic academiae. Ego autoritate mihi concessa, admito te ad gradum magisteria in artibus elegantibus. Shannon Castor. As an ecology student, I think the best asset to going to the Burn College of Art is its immediate access to nature and daily immersion in the elements, the landscape, and challenging beauty that this place evokes. Presento vobis hace mias filias, qua somne shio amorbis, quam doctrina habiles, e idonias esse ke admetantor ad gradum magisteri in artibus elegantibus. Id quae tibi fide mia testor ace spondeo, totec academiae. Ego, octaritate mihi concessa, admito vos ad gradum magisteri in artibus elegantibus. Brittany Baldwin. I really loved my time at BCA and I found it really valuable to be able to immerse myself in the countryside and the community here. Um, I just fell in love with, with all of that. Ellen Ferrier. The most valuable part of my experience here at the Byron College of Art has been the allowance of time and space to immerse myself in the discovery of my own artistic practice. What materials am I drawn to and why? What are my innate ways of working with these materials? And what issues and concepts am I passionate about as an artist and as a human being? Letitia Marie Hill. I came to the BCA with the hope of finding a connection to my Irish heritage. My time here was spent researching the Great Famine, the Lumpers, folklore, mythology, and traditional crafts making with local artisans. I leave the BCA enriched with this personal journey and a deeper understanding of my ancestry. Ashlyn Jelinski. The most valuable part of my experience at BCA has been the development of a solid studio practice. During my time here, I have gained a clear understanding of my drive to create the pillars of my practice and my own identity as an artist. Samantha Khan. 
The barn for me is a refuge and the safest of spaces to develop <clears throat> and enhance and really dig into ideas that I would never have been able to otherwise. Presento vobus hace mias filius qua somnis shio tam morbus quam doctrina abilis e idoneus esse ca admetantur ad diploma superius in artibus elegantibus. Id quae tibi fide mea testor ace spondeo totic academiae. Ego actoritate mihi concessa admito vos ad diploma superius in artibus elegantibus. Anya Connell. My time here at the Burren, studying the post-bac, gave me the opportunity to explore new mediums and to build friendships and relationships, while also giving the time and the space to grow and to learn within an artistic and academic setting. <laughs> Aisling Davis. Christina Windsor. Pre honorabilis deaconess, Caramonies rite confectus finum quasio facius huius convocationis universitarius. This part of the ceremony and university convocation is duly complete. And now we'll hear from a message from our university president, Professor Kirana Hogarthy, for the graduates. So on behalf of NUI Galway, as president of the university, I'd like to congratulate you all on this uh, great achievement this day of your graduation from the Byrne College of Art and from uh, NUI Galway. Um, if I was there in person, I would congratulate you in person. And I'm, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a pity in the context of our uh, current uh, contact, uh, the current pandemic that we, we can't be there together. Um, and one of the things I would also say is that uh, I congratulate you on the work you've done and the meaning you have found in your work. Uh, the creative arts is, plays a very important role in our society and uh, even the sense that there is a uh, something to uh, represent in that context I think is particularly important for us. It's one of those areas of society that has never let us down uh, and I think uh, as you have developed your work uh, throughout the, your degree program with uh, with us and with the Byrne College of Art. I hope you have seen that, that this is a, there's a particular value and meaning to what you do uh, that is very important to us, not only to yourselves, but to society more generally. Uh, first of all, you, you find yourselves in your work. And I think that sense of self-expression, that being your best selves is particularly important. Uh, and uh, I commend you for it. But secondly, in finding yourselves, you also share that element of your experience with others. Uh, which is also both generous and important to us uh, in seeing the world in different ways and seeing the challenges of life and the the uh, the, the joy of life uh, through your work. Uh, and thirdly, you do it in a way that, has, as uh, Seamus Heaney might say, see the world sees the world aslant. And I think that's a particularly important value currently to see things differently, to uh, to express things differently. I think that creates a particular value for yourselves, a particular. Um, attribute that we we should both uh, cherish and that we should commend uh, on a day like today. So you are starting on your on a new chapter in your lives. Uh, we hope that the experience of the Byrne College of Art, the degree program that you've done with us at NUI Galway through the Byrne College, uh, stands to you in the future. But most of all, today, congratulations 
the creative arts has, as I say, played a particular role in life uh, in the past, a particular role in life right now in sharing experiences with each other and in expressing that experience. And thirdly, I think will play a, a particularly profound role in shaping our future, shaping our future as a, as a society, but also our future as, an individu as individuals as we uh, reflect on our experience. And very many of us are reflecting on that experience now and thinking about, about uh, how it has changed us. And I think your work and the creative arts more generally uh, allows us to do that, challenges us to do that. Uh, sometimes makes us uncomfortable uh, and sometimes uh, brings us in different directions. And for all of that, it is important. So thank you very much. Congratulations to yourselves and to all your family and friends who we hope are joining you today. We thank all of you for sharing with us and being with us in, 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 the, in the Burn College of Arts and in UI Galway. But we also thank those who shared that experience with you. We know how important it is for our students that others share their this journey with you. And we are particularly grateful to those who uh, have shared with uh, your, your sadness and your joy, your challenges uh, and your wisdom and uh, have uh, carried you on, on those days when you needed carrying and whom you have carried and for those who needed support as well. So we know that this is a particularly profound day for you all. We thank you all for that. August Tommy de Soul, Costly of a mock and show mass major, but most of all, we wish you the very best for the future. Mean market, thank you. A special thanks to Kieran for those uh, for those remarks, um, and a very warm welcome to everyone attending this uh, our eighteenth conferring ceremony at Barn College of Art. A special welcome to our distinguished college colleagues from NUI Galway and the staff and faculty from Barn College of Art. And an extra special welcome to our new graduates and to your families and friends who are joining us from many different geographic locations and time zones. As you say in Irish, Cade Mila Falcha, a hundred thousand welcomes to you all. A special thank you to NUI Galway with whom we work closely to deliver our postgraduate programs and who has been our committed and supportive academic partner for almost two decades. I would also like to thank uh, and recognize rather the School of the Art, Chi Art Institute of Chicago and the Royal College of Art in London, our academic partners with whom we collaborate to bring graduate mentors into our postgraduate programs. So, Brittany, Ellen, Letitia, Aisling, Sam, Shannon, Anya, Aisling again, second Aisling, Christina, Joanna and Herminia, this is a special day of celebration for you and for your families and friends who have supported you on this journey. As you know, I am filling in for our president, uh, Mary Hawks Green, who unfortunately cannot be with us for today's celebration. And I hope that you will join with me in wishing her a speedy recovery. Mary offers her heartfelt congratulations to you all as you complete your studies with us here at Barron College of Art. We remain, as you know, in unprecedented times, perhaps echoed in the exhibition title of our graduating cohort of MFA students. It's strange to be here. And echoing strangeness and, evo and evoking strangeness, it has, of course, been a year like no other, as we have navigated the impact of the pandemic on all aspects of our lives. You, our graduating students, have shown tenacity, resilience, and pursuing your studies and generating compelling bodies of artwork in such, circum in such circumstances. By your end of your exhibitions, prepare you to take your artistic vision out and into the world. The journey embedded in your work also represents the significance of your achievement and rising to the challenge of studying in the unique context of the burn. Your sense of risk and adventure led you to undertake this often deeply personal journey of self-discovery and this unique karst limestone environment on the periphery of Ireland, the periphery of Europe. Your engagement with the power of this place is complemented by the immersive experience of the studio, the place of making, of testing, questioning and challenging yourself and your ideas. Through this combination of the studio and the discursive student-centred focus of our academic community in this remote rural locale, you our graduates have developed resourcefulness, rigor, and commitment alongside imagination. 
These skills will serve you well as you are now equipped with a prestigious degree that will open global opportunities for you in the rapidly expanding field of contemporary visual culture. While your work embodies diverse approaches to artistic research and practice, it is unified by the embrace of the potential of the visual imaginary. Such potential is possibly in greater need than ever before. It is you, our emerging artists, who engage directly with the process of transformation, transforming materials, transforming ideas into artworks and experiences, transforming experiences into community. Transformation is deeply called for at present in the way we think and in the way we relate to the material world around us and to each other as human beings. In working with the power of transformation as an act of principle through your work, you have the ability to impact the lives of others in a myriad of ways, from the subtle to the profound. It has been my pleasure to work with all of you directly as a group of highly motivated and dedicated students who have navigated the current challenges with grace, understanding and resolve. As Burn College of Art graduates, you're well poised to continue creating works that foreground the power of your imaginative capacities to understand, navigate and potentially impact the ever-changing terrain of the world around us. On this, your day of celebration, my warmest congratulations to you all. I would now like to welcome our guest speaker, Siobhan Mulcahy, Arts Officer for County Clare and a longtime friend and supporter of the college. Special thanks to Siobhan for, for speaking this afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Siobhan Mulcahy and I'm the County Arts Officer and I'm delighted to join with you today on this very special occasion. I'd like to thank Conor McGrady and Donia Phillips for extending me the invitation to join with you on this auspicious occasion, which marks your graduation from your Masters in Fine Art. And what a Masters it has been, I would imagine, who would have thought over the last two years, I suppose, at this stage, um, that we would find ourselves where we are today. And you have found yourself in one of the most beautiful spots in the world, in the Burren and in the Burren College of Art. The Burren, a karst limestone region, some look at as being barren, but which I think you will have experienced as somewhere where life comes forth and blossoms in the hardest of places. A place that teaches us about resilience, a, a place that is innate to creativity, and I'm sure a place that has shaped not only your arts practice, but you as a person going forward on your journey through life. We are so privileged to have a college like the Burn College of Art in County Clare. We are so privileged to have it in one of our most scenic locations in the world, and you are so privileged to have attended here. And although the attendance may have been very different this year, um, due to the ongoing problems that are happening in the world. I think what you have shown is resilience and adaptability. And those are skills that will not only have been ingrained through your time at the Burren College of Art, but skills that we will bring through life with you. And I would hope that going forward, no matter what struggles you may have personally or professionally, that you will look back on your time on the burn and you will think back to how the whole world changed and yet everything stayed the same. How you were centred in the centre of this microcosm of creativity in the west of Ireland and that by going back and drawing from the well and drawing from the creativity inherent in the place and drawing from the creativity inherent in your soul, you managed to overcome and you managed to forge a path for yourself going forward. And that is the experience that we hope you will take with you going through life. I would like to congratulate each and every one of you for your achievement here today. I would hope that you would look back on your time in County Clare with fondness and with a sense that of empowerment, I think is the word that I'm looking for. Um, and that the college and its amazing staff and the amazing people have fed into the most amazing and wonderful life experience here in terms of your education. I know you may have been challenged, 
I know you may have been pushed, but it just goes to show how far you can go when you are challenged and when you are pushed and when you need to go past the boundaries that are set for yourself. You have drawn on some of the most amazing talent and wonderful academic staff in the Byrne College of Art and I have no doubt that you have forged friends for life. So we would hope that that experience of County Clare and the Byrne College of Art will see you through your life and I wish you every success both personally and professionally in your artistic practice going forward. Congratulations, you should all be very, very proud today. That concludes the conferring ceremony, but before we finish, I want to thank those people whose hard work and professionalism have ensured that this ceremony has been made possible. In particular, Fanula Nihulahulan and Belinda O'Hay of the conferring's team, Tara Layden from Registry, John Caulfield from the President's Office, and Dave Brandt of Brandt Studios in Galway, who have coordinated this graduation. <clears throat> to you, the graduates, I have just one last thing to say as you celebrate with us virtually and I hope in the company of your family. Go now and make the most of the qualification you've gained and the life ahead of you.